Hello there, fellow 3D enthusiast. In this quick tip, I'm gonna show you how you can apply a pose preset to a character without applying translation data to it. This can sometimes happen depending on how the poses are crafted, that when creators add translation data to the pose, then not only does the figure change shape and goes into, you know, into the pose that you want, but it also changes position inside the scene. And that makes sometimes sense, but sometimes you'd rather this didn't happen. Let me show you what we can do about it. I've got a Genesis 3 male figure loaded up in Das Studio here, and I'm going to show it. This is in the exact world center right now. I'm going to use the Iron Man 13 coffee shop environment with poses because it comes with poses that let me demonstrate this. So under by function, I can go to standing and everything that's pink here, those are the Genesis 3 female poses. And everything that's blue, that's the Genesis 3 male poses. And they come in three different varieties. The first one will just apply the pose in position. The second one will apply it in position in relation to the set that comes with this product. So if he were to go and, I don't know, operate the coffee machine, I can either go and double click this pose now, and that is now, you know, making him do his thing but really if I were to load the set then that's not where that coffee machine is and this is where this pose comes in so if I double click that one I can see that he's kind of doing the same thing but he's in a different position and you know for a one-click solution inside the set that makes perfect sense but the issue is that my 3d manipulator gadget is now no longer centered underneath him it's now further away so that makes it really difficult if I wanted to move him into a different position now because the manipulator gadget is isn't where he is, so uh, it's not so good. So I'll go back to my T-pose here. I'm going to apply the same pose, but now I'm going to hold down control, and this is kind of the big reveal. Hold down control, then double click the pose that usually moves him into a different position. And when we do that, a little dialogue comes up, which is kind of cool. And it lets us specify some pose loading options. So specifically, if you remove the translation X, Y, and Z options here, just untick them, then that X, Y, and Z translation isn't applied, but the pose is, and as a result, if I hit accept, then the pose is applied and he does not change positions. And furthermore, the manipulator gadget is still in its original spot, which is awesome. So this also works if he were far away from it. So if I were to move him, I don't know, somewhere here, I can hold control, double click, and then this dialog comes up. And once again, I can disable the X, Y, and Z translation, uh, hit accept, and then that will make him apply the pause right here. Let me go bring him back into the original thing. Because there's another thing that I'd like to show you. If you find yourself doing this a lot, so if there's a lot of poses that you know do this and you'd rather not constantly hold down control and disable those values. Now we're going to use these ones here, this pose here. You can also just control, double click this and then head over here to the preference section. So first of all, disable X, Y, and Z. Go to this once. Then you head over to preferences and then you can tick this box here that says set preferred options on accept. And when you do that, it even shows you at the bottom here what happens when you were to do that. Click applies with the default options. Click and shift will apply this with the preferred options that we're currently saving the moment he will hit accept. And control or command on the Mac displays these options for you to tweak. So what this means that if you set these options, disable translation. Now enable set preferred options on accept, then hit accept. Then of course, you know, pause is applied here. But even cooler, if you now hold down the shift key and apply this, Pause, then it'll immediately apply the values that you've just saved, saving you a few more clicks. So if you find yourself, you have uh, pauses that you have to do this a lot on, then uh, this is a great way to do that. So just hold shift, double click and apply the pause, and then this doesn't happen. So it's the same as holding down control that brings up this options dialog here. And with these options disabled, the moment you hit this and hit accept, this is gonna be saved. And you have basically two ways of applying pauses, either double clicking, holding down control, double clicking, that brings up this dialog, or once you've saved your options, you hold down shift, 
apply the polls, and then your specified options will be applied. There we go. That's all I wanted to share with you. Perhaps just one more thing. If I just hold down control and apply this, it might be tempting to disable everything here, like disable rotation and disable scale. Don't do that because if you do that, then there's nothing left of the polls to apply. So only disable translation if you really want that to be gone. And you know, if you want to save it, then just go over to the preferences dialog and save those options if you find yourself doing this a lot. That is all I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.